I noticed some fake tourmaline slices being sold on Etsy, and I thought I'd make a quick video to warn people about them. I'll start by showing some real tourmaline slices that I cut recently so you can see the difference. These specimens are watermelon tourmaline from Minas Gerais, Brazil. These specimens are from California. Many colors of tourmaline exist, but pink and green were the main colors I had on hand for this video. Here's one more specimen that's a different color. These specimens are also from California and have been stabilized. Stabilization is fairly common to see in material that is fractured. Rough pieces that might normally fall apart can be stabilized to make them into valuable specimens. Here is one more specimen with some lipidolite present, and I'm pretty happy that I decided to repair it instead of throwing it in the junk pile. Heat and irradiation treatments also exist for tourmaline, but according to the Gemstone Enhancement book by Kurt Nassau, no identifying characteristics are known for the irradiated or heat-treated tourmalines. Regardless, treatments should always be disclosed for any mineral specimens that are for sale. A couple of other things to note about tourmaline are that it has a higher refractive index and higher Mohs hardness than glass. Since tourmaline has a pretty complex chemical formula and is difficult and expensive to make in a lab, most fakes will either be glass or a different lab-grown crystal that is easy to make. Let's look at some fakes now. We can't do a Mohs hardness or refractive index test, but these examples don't look right when you look at the details and compare them to the natural specimens from earlier. So one of the first things that uh, really looks suspicious is if you look at the edges of these specimens, they really don't look quite right. They definitely went for, you know, either hexagonal or the Rouleau triangle shape of tourmaline, but they didn't quite get it right, and it looks like they're kind of chipped on the edges with uh, probably some conchoidal fracture. We'll try to get a little bit closer view here. And most of the fakes that I saw, the biggest giveaway is the outer edges. They just don't look quite right. Another thing that's uh, definitely off, as you can see, these are around quarter sized. And if you look back at the price, they're asking $5 a piece. Definitely way too cheap. And here in the title, it doesn't say anything about those being glass. And it says that the treatment is heated. I mean, it was molten glass at some point, so they're not entirely wrong, but it's definitely not tourmaline, and the fact that it's synthetic is not stated at all. So here's another one that looked like it came out of a, a similar batch. Uh, it's pretty rough around the edges. And this one they're saying is a glass doublet, and I don't know if they know what a doublet is or not. This doesn't show it in side view, so yeah, I think they uh, are not really describing it very well. It does say that it's synthetic. And I just wanted to quickly cover a couple of the other colors and stuff that you might see, again with the chipped rough looking edges. And luckily a few of these listings they do say synthetic, but uh, yeah, there was one seller out of the group that said that they were natural and that they were heat treated, so... These are something that I really hadn't seen much of on the market until recently. You know, that can vary from market to market, but I just want to show people what those look like so that they can keep an eye out for them, because pretty much anything in the mineral trade that sells and is worth money, somebody's going to try to fake it at some point. And the best way to protect yourself from all of that is to familiarize yourself with the original material and get as close to the miners and the source as possible. If you're buying directly from the source or if you're digging yourself, then you can be a lot more confident about the authenticity of something. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, please give it a share, and if you'd like to further support the channel and add to your collection at the same time, please check out my Etsy store.